showing up, showing out, showing out. Acting up, showing out, showing out. Acting up, showing out, showing out. I'ma show the world what I'm about. Yeah. Hi, I'm Diane Parker, and welcome to Acting Up and Showing Out. This is our very first webisode focusing on the rich and diverse talent in the community theater world. We're here today to celebrate with Vanguard Theater Company in their production of Hairspray. We wanted to do a show that would showcase not only performers, a traditional musical theater performers, but we wanted to do a show that would showcase performers of color. Not specifically, but it, we wanted something that would highlight those performers who are like us. Hairspray was originally a screenplay. I believe the first screenplay was in 1988, right? And that's when the first movie happened, and then there was a recent um, remake of it. John Waters, when he was a young boy, and he's the writer, uh, he used to be a, a huge fan of the Buddy Dean Show. And the Buddy Dean Show is what the Corny Collins Show in Hairspray is based on. So it was this um, telecast of an American bandstand type show where kids would kind of be famous and they lived in Baltimore, and they were famous in Baltimore for being on the show. Most of them were, of course, Caucasian kids. Except one day a month, they had a Negro Day. Oh my God, Negro Day is the best! I wish every day was Negro Day! <laughs> At our house, it is. <laughs> one of the particular days uh, that we had, we were all singing. They were all singing in the background, and Terry... Terry, uh, the, the musical director, says, you guys aren't getting it. You guys aren't getting it. And it just moved my heart to the point where I said to them, listen, you don't know what we've been through. You don't know where we've come. And I want to educate you guys. So I gave them a little bit of background about the, the, the heartaches and the pains and what it felt like to see our people um, manipulated and punished and killed right before our very eyes. And then uh, later on, uh, Janice, who is uh, the director, she went through a, the thing again with them, and they got it. They got it. So when they dance, they dance because they know that the power that has been given them was not just given them today. It was given to them years ago before they were even born. And they got that, and it shows in their performance. And I'm just so proud of these kids. I just love them so much. I do. Do you have a favorite song in the show? Well, it would have to be, I know where it's been. I know where I've been, rather. <laughs> and why is that? Because it just embodies this beautiful spiritual and the essence of the show. And it really brings everything home um, and, and is, is, I think, the, um, the motivation behind the whole piece. There's a light in the darkness the night is black as my ears. There's a light burning bright, showing me away. But I know where I've been. Uh, first of all, for me, this has been a dream part. I've always wanted to play Edna Turnblad and actually playing a man playing a woman is not as easy as you would think because there's a lot of, of mental work that goes into it, especially when you grow up being gay, trying to hide any feminine qualities and then you're put in a role where you actually have to let all your feminine qualities out. It's very interesting and then you're combining it with masculine qualities too because she's not the most feminine of characters so it's been a pretty interesting process a, a learning process for me and a big growth process i've absolutely loved it <laughs> part of the show and just showing that not just because of your skin color or your weight um how you look you can all you're everyone's the same and um as far as interracial love um i believe that if, if, whatever your heart wherever your heart is that if you want to love someone a different color than you or a different race than you go for it and that's 
So that's what I do in the show. Director Janice and choreographer Daryl, they spoke to us a lot about the hardships of black Americans today and I really I really feel for everything that's going on right now. they they really educated us on that topic. The only reason I'm on the show is because it's our son. Why can't we all dance together like that on TV? You think we have a schwa? I think, I don't know what they're called, but the group of the three women who were wearing like the sparkly dresses, they were just, their, their voices were phenomenal. about is so meaningful and so to get to hear the lyrics that we wrote that are trying to have fun with the subject but also when it's time to really get serious about it for it to land and for it to land like it did today where you feel the whole audience really recognizing what what the work that still needs to be done I mean I felt ashamed while I was watching it as a part of society to think of how how far we have to go and how the last year has proven you know what is going on in this world but uh, for two and a half hours you can come see Hairspray and and see what the world could be if we just could just get it together play is timeless if there's one particular scene or song in the show that sums up the message what would that be well, I guess it's obviously that uh, I know where I've been is what lets the cast and the audience know that there's something much more going on here than just kids wanting to be on a dance show. And then you can't stop the beat. It's just, it's about, you know, look, I mean, look at the social change that has happened in the last few years with all the horrible things that are going on there. There is, a, it is amazing how... I mean, you know, you can't stop the beat. That's what it means. It's mean, you know, all of these mean old people can hold on to their old things that they were taught by other old mean people. And I don't mean old as like being an ageist. I may just mean like times change and you cannot stop that beat of enlightenment and, and people recognizing what's right. <laughs> We hope you enjoyed the first episode of Acting Up and Showing Out. 
For more information on Vanguard Theatre Company, go to www.vanguardtheatre.org. If you are a performer or theatre company and are interested in appearing on our show, send an email to actinupshowingout at gmail.com. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel for updates and new episodes. In the meantime, keep acting up and showing out.